Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So in about four days from now, Global is going to be getting three amazing Extreme Z Awakenings for the Int Super Gogeta, the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details you need to know about these units to uh, get you guys ready. Okay, so we're going to start here with the Int Gogeta first since I'm sure that's the one that most people are excited for and popping over to his extreme z battle event the release date is march 9th 2021 and the weakness is the movie bosses category and going through the stages uh, it's your standard extreme z battle event which means that every single stage from level 1 to 30 will give you one dragon stone you're getting some int orbs along the way and of course the extreme z awakening medals for Godita. now in terms of the uh, damage reduction for the enemy after level 3, he's getting additional damage reduction against all super type enemies. So basically, you want to run as many uh, extreme type as possible since the weakness is movie bosses. If you're running a movie bosses team, then that shouldn't be an issue, right? And then after level 7, he gets additional damage reduction of 60% against tech and super types and then of course after level 9 characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage and beyond level 12 additional damage reduction of 70% against tech, STR and super types and finally after level 19 he gets additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL, tech, STR and super types. So essentially any of those types AGL, tech, STR and all super type units will be very ineffective against Gogeta. They'll be doing very little damage. So if you can, you only want to run extreme fizz or extreme int units. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, you go through the rest of the stages, get your medals, get your stones, get some Kai's as well. And once you're done all 30 stages, you're getting 30 dragon stones, 11 grand Kai's, int grand Kai's, enough int orbs to rainbow a unit and all the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need to uh, fully Extreme Z Awaken your Gogeta. And there are also three more missions for four extra stones. The first one is to win the Extreme Z battle within one minute and 15 seconds at level 10 or higher, win the Extreme Z battle within one minute and 45 seconds at level 20 or higher, and then win the Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a character from the movie bosses category team on your team. So yeah, four extra stones, 34 stones in total, Here's a quick look at the movie bosses category. As I said, you ideally only want to run units, you know, in this section and in this section because uh, AGL, Tech, and STR will still be uh, ineffective against him and they'll be doing very little damage. So hopefully you guys do have a good amount of, uh, you know, extreme int and extreme fizz movie bosses units. If not, then just a very solid mono extreme fizz team should also do the trick all right so there you go guys that is everything you need to know about the extreme z battle event for gogeta now let's pop over to his actual details and as always we'll start with the pre eza details first and then look at the extreme z awakening details for comparison starting with his leader skill it's super int types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 percent or extreme int types key plus one hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack immense damage and lowers attack and defense and passive attack plus 120 percent attacks effective against all types now with the extreme z awakening his leader skill becomes super int types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent or extreme int types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent super attack raises defense for one turn causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense and then passive is attack and defense plus 120 percent attacks effective against all types medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks with one or more rainbow key spheres obtained plus an additional attack plus 40 percent with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained and then high chance of performing a critical hit with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained obviously if you want to get the most out of him, you should probably run him with a orb changer that changes a certain type of key sphere into rainbow key spheres, right? 
And uh, yeah, man, it's just a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening in my opinion, because one of Gogeta's main issues was defense, right? And now he raises defense on a super attack. He's also getting 120% extra defense that he didn't have before. And he can also get a 30% chance to dodge with just one Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. And with two or three Key Spheres or Rainbow Key Spheres, he can hit even harder, right? Additional 40% attack with two Rainbow Key Spheres and uh, high chance of critical hits, which is a 50% chance for crits with three or more Rainbow Key Spheres. So he's better defensively, he's better offensively, um, he has better stats, of course, which also make a huge difference. When he's rainbowed and fully extremes the awakened, he gets 19,738 attack, 10,700. And 87 defense and 18,518 HP. Needless to say, this guy now blows the uh, STR Super Gogeta out of the water. Um, I guess it's not going to be a huge issue, anyways, in the future because we are getting an update that allows us to run multiple characters with the same name. So if you want to, you could run this guy and the STR on the same team, but this guy is definitely much, much better now. So uh, yeah, that's the Int Gogeta EZA. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. But uh, I think he is absolutely amazing. Definitely uh, one of the best EZAs we've ever seen. Now, let's pop over to the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus real quick. Uh, before I talk about what they do, this is the Extreme Z Battle Event where you can get their Extreme Z Awakening Medals. So if you guys already did it for the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaku and Goku, then you can just go back to the earlier stages and uh, farm the bronze, silver, gold, and rainbow medals for the AGL Goku and the Tech Goku. So with that out of the way, starting here with the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who I do think is quite a bit better than the Tech one, is pre-Extreme Z Awakening leader skill was AGL, STR, and Fist types, HP and attack plus 30%, super attack, supreme damage, and passive, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Now, after the EZA, his leader skill becomes all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and passive becomes attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, and then attack and defense plus 59%, all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 7%, and attack plus 20% when there are only Realm of Gods category allies attacking in the same turn. So essentially, if you're running a mostly or full Realm of Gods category team, then he's getting a massive, massive boost on his passive. His additional attack and defense boost plus 59% and the attack plus 20% are calculated separately, resulting in a total boost of attack plus 258% and defense plus 218% when there are only Realm of Gods category allies in the same turn. And his stats, of course, are improved. He gets up to 16,452 attack, 10,926 defense, and 16,842 HP. Overall, just uh, like I said, an amazing Extreme Z Awakening. I'm super happy with how this guy turned out too. Um, I love the extra support, huge boost on his passive, extra attack and defense on his super attack and also a pretty solid leader skill, to be honest. I mean, it's not the greatest, but definitely usable for uh, Battlefield, for example. So there's the AGL one. Now let's take a look at the Tech one. I do think he's inferior to the AGL one, but still good, nonetheless. Uh, pre easy leader skill, Tech types key plus, or sorry, uh, Tech types attack plus 33% for every Tech key sphere obtained. Um, super attack supreme damage and passive attack plus 30% and changes rainbow key spheres to tech key spheres. With the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is tech types attack plus 35% per tech key sphere obtained. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is changes rainbow key spheres to tech key spheres. Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack and defense plus 59% and all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% when there are only tech type allies attacking in the same turn. So I'm sure most of you can see why I feel like the AGL Goku is better because his restriction for his passive 
is better, right? Like this guy needs all tech types on the same team. So outside of a mono tech team, it's kind of hard to fulfill this condition consistently, right? So without that, he's only getting attack and defense plus 100%. He is still changing orbs, which is nice, but uh, he's not going to be nearly as effective offensively or defensively, which is very unfortunate. And uh, his stats, post Extreme Z Awakening and Rainbowed, 16,099 attack, 10,474 defense, and 17,630 HP. Still a good Extreme Z Awakening, still much, much better than he was before, but uh, definitely, in my opinion, inferior to the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who I am very impressed by. So if I were to rank the three, um, it would pretty much go in the order I showed them in, right? So Int Gogeta first, then AGL Goku, and then Tech Goku. So there you have it, guys. The uh, three Extreme Z Awakenings coming to Global Next in about four days once again. Uh, if you guys need to you know, work on your teams or get your teams ready before the event drops, then get to work now. And uh, obviously, I will be doing a stream for my grind and also a live showcase. So definitely stay tuned for that. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.